Hi, I'm Sandy, and I'm a postdoc working under Dr. Ron Triolo at the Advanced Platform Technology Center at the Cleveland VA Medical Center. For the past two years, my research has focused on designing balance controllers for powered exoskeletons. An exoskeleton is a wearable robotic device that aims to restore mobility for individuals with spinal cord injuries. Exoskeletons can promote muscle and bone health for the SCI population, who are at risk for muscle atrophy, bone density loss, and skeletal fractures. Typically, an exoskeleton's electric motors completely guide the user's affected limbs through a variety of different motions. The exoskeleton that we're currently developing, shown here, is unique because in addition to the motors, it uses functional electrical stimulation to activate the user's muscles to achieve sitting, standing, and walking. Currently, all exoskeletons require the user to walk with either crutches or a walker, which greatly increases user effort and can make the device feel more like an exercise machine than something that could be used to perform everyday tasks. I've been researching ways to continuously maintain balance so that we can move away from crutches in the future. The concept involves measuring the center of mass and using this information to recruit the user's muscles and the exoskeleton's motors to keep the center of mass within a stable region. Now, I'd like to take my research further by addressing situations where the center of mass falls too far outside of this stable region. When this happens, another controller is required to classify and prevent the fall or minimize the impact of falling if one should occur. Currently, no exoskeleton is able to do this, which greatly minimizes its practical usefulness because the SCI population is already at risk for musculoskeletal injury and any fall could certainly exacerbate this. So my research outcomes will highlight the need to redesign the exoskeleton and improve its overall safety. And as a result of this program, I've been gaining experience in writing my own research grants and proposals that can help me transition into becoming an independent scientist.